Yeah, we're here again with more social justice nonsense. And you're not seeing things. This is the actual title of the video that we're going to be um, talking about here. Yeah, SFSU Campus Employee Assaults White Student for, quote, Cultural Appropriation. If I I'm every time I heard that, seriously. Okay, this, this is something I've watched like six or seven times, and it's made me livid. Like, it just really pisses me the fuck off that these social justice bigots keep to it gets to keep doing this shit. Unpunished, no less. Right, let's see what we're in for here. You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Why? What kind of fucking response is that? Because it's my culture! Oh, boo fucking who, bitch. Cry me a river. Do you honestly... Think that the dreadlocks like originate not only originated in Africa but solely belongs to Africa? You're sadly fucking mistaken. Okay, a hairstyle doesn't belong to one culture. Any hairstyle at all is universal. Heck, like I've seen plenty of white dudes. I've seen pl I've seen a few Italian dudes who bear the dreadlocks. Okay, now. That's not my thing. Like, I'm personally not for dreadlocks. I don't like them personally. But I'm not gonna go around and say, Hey, you can have this hairstyle. It's just fucking retarded. Do you know, do you know I was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, but I'm not. No, are you Egyptian? No, but that's not. Wait, where's Egypt? Yeah, the gay guy comes along and say, Hey, are you Egyptian? Like, that's relevant in any way, shape, or form to the fucking hairstyle that he has. Yeah, it's in Egyptian culture. But, does that mean, in any way, shape, or form, that he should not be allowed to style his hair a particular way? Oh, oh, bravo! Assault the one with dreadlocks, yeah! Cause violence solves everything! Well, I think you're okay. Huh? Yo, girl, stop touching me. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Oh, look at this, yes! He's trying to get away from this whole conflict. Okay? He's trying to be an adult. He's trying to walk away from this, but not only did um, the um, black bitch here, and I, I don't care if you call me racist, call me racist all you want, this black bitch here put, his, put her hands on him, and he tried to walk away from the situation, but the bitch just kept pulling back, preventing him from walking away like a responsible adult. I personally think that he should have struck back then and there. And I don't give a fuck about like, what, what you have to say. Like, don't hit girls. You should, if necessary. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he continues to just yank backwards. Like, doing, like, e like putting in full effort to keep him from walking away. And you want us to respect the Black Lives Matter movement? <laughs> this is why Black Lives Matter is a fucking joke. Oh, oh, like we didn't see this coming at all. Playing the victim. You were caught on camera. Assaulting this white dude, and now you're saying, Don't put your hands on me! Don't touch me! This is assault! Honestly, you cannot play the victim with the camera rolling. Because, quite frankly, we've seen you for the violent bitch that you really are. No point in playing the professional victim. Like, even though it makes up, makes, that's kind of shit, because what the hair I have, 
That's no reason, yo. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you filming this? Just for everyone's safety. Ah, oh, ha, ha, the cream of the crop. Sheik found the camera and was shocked. As if he didn't expect to be filmed, to be exposed for the cunt that he is. Bravo, bravo, campus employee, bravo. I really hope you get fired and tossed in the slammer for this. Because, like, I don't give a fuck about what gender you are, I don't give a fuck what sexual orientation you have, I don't give a fuck about what sex you prefer. You do this kind of heinous shit, you attack someone, you lay your hands on someone, like, even if someone's trying to get away from the assault and such, someone trying to walk away from the bullshit, which is applaudable, actually. I do, I, I do gotta applaud this guy. But, it's escalated so far as to um, professional victim. Okay, yeah, it's professional victimization. Everywhere to get a responsibility free card. You been busted, bitch. Anyway, that's basically the video in a nutshell. Black bitch assaults. Black bitch then proceeds to play a professional victim. Now I gotta ask you guys, what would you have done in this in this situation, like? Leave your comments down below what you would do in his shoes. Like, would you would have, would you would have socked back? Like, I don't know what what would you have done? Like, I don't I don't realistically see him like pulling back like way too like, too hard because like should he should she then let go? She would have cried professional victim as she always seems to do. It's like, ah, uh, you pushed me down to the ground. Anyway, just leave your thoughts and feelings, mostly thoughts and opinions, down there in the comments down below. Like, should she have been fired? Should she have been put away? Anyway, this. This is just, this is bullshit. The, the original video will be in the description down below. Mr. Epsilon's video may also be in the description down below, because I found this video through him. Peace out. This entire SJW bullshit has just gotten out of hand.